hello welcome back to my channel so glad that you are here today just a quick reminder before i get started don't forget to subscribe hit that bell give this video a thumbs up so that you never miss any of my wig related content i'm bringing you this wig review today for shirley's wig shop shirley has a really great private facebook group it's called shirley's wig shop hairs looking at you kid i invite you to come over and join this super fun group so today i'm going to show you a brand new style by gabor this is beaming beauty and the color on this one is gf 812 SS Iced Mocha. More on her in just a minute. Okay, let's start talking about Beaming Beauty. <laughs> like these big names, y'all. Okay, uh, so this is Beaming Beauty. As you can see, she's very full. She's curly. It's, it's more of a wave pattern, like a spiral wave, uh, but she's full. Um, I combed through the waves thinking that maybe they would calm down a little. I just wanted to see if they would calm down a little bit or what the style was wanting to do. And it just didn't really go down any. And so to add a little more texture back, I took my just spray bottle with water and just scrunched it back to get more definition in the curl. But, you know, you can see it's just very full. And in my opinion, it's a little too full for my features, or maybe it's just out of my comfort zone. I don't know, but, um, but you know, I, I'm happy to show a wig whether it's a style that, you know, I would choose for myself because I'm happy to show them for y'all. Okay, so this one has an extended lace front. So it gives you that true temple to temple coverage. Lace front extends down to here, down onto that ear tab. So the knots look really, really good on this color, even though it's a darker color. And then it's a left mono part, although with the fullness of the style, the part doesn't really show that much. But there's the part. So I've got good coverage at the ear tabs. So as far as the fit, uh, this is fitting me like a typical average wig. Sorry, there's one hair there. Um, you know, would fit me. So ear to ear, it's fine. Forehead to nape, it fits me fine on my petite head, but there's plenty of stretch for, you can see there's lots of stretch, there's some extra room back there for average and average plus. But if you are petite, um, I think you'll find that, you know, this cap will work fine for you. I didn't have to bring in the adjusters on the cap either. Okay, so the measurements are 7.5 inches here in the front, 8.5 inches from the crown, 9.5 inches on the side, eight inches in the back, and then the nape is 5.25 inches. It doesn't look that long because of these spirals, but it is a 5.25 inch nape. And then weight-wise, she's coming in at 3.84 ounces. Okay, so here's that left mono part, goes back to the crown, which is very nice. We have closed lace here next to the part. I'm not really feeling permatees up on the top. I'm feeling a little bit where the hair attaches to the cap, but it's not really full of permatease. It's really just full of style. Like it's just the fullness of those waves. So here's that extended temple to temple lace front. Really, really nice coverage on that lace front. Soft ear tabs with metal stays. Open wefting all through the cap. Extended nape with Velcro adjusters. So I'll show you a very stretchy cap, very comfortable cap. Stretching in the circumference as well. And these are the true to life heat friendly fibers. Okay, let's talk about this color. So this is the GF 812 SS, which is the iced mocha, beautiful brunette. Just really, really pretty as you can see, dimensional brunette. This is considered, these iced colors are considered to be more cool toned and I would definitely say uh, it has a, a neutral to cool tone to it. Rooted with a little bit darker shade, darker brunette on the rooting. So the description is a medium brown that is shaded with a dark blonde. I don't understand that um, term shaded so much. It's not a highlight. I would say it's more blended. I mean, you can see a little bit of that blonde, but to my eye, I see more of a brunette. I consider shading to be rooting, and I would say it's shaded with a darker brown. So, 
but I definitely see a little bit, see how you can kind of see that dark, it's, it's really more like a very subtle, subtle, subtle highlight going through it or, or, or a reflection, you know, just a tiny, tiny bit of that. Now, maybe when I edit and, and I see the wig just in the lighting on my, you know, when I'm doing my editing, maybe I'll see more of the blonde, but to my eye, I just, the, it doesn't leap out. It looks like a medium to dark brown to me. Here we are in natural light, about to go outside. You can see that shading of the root. Here we are under my patio cover. Step into the sun. Okay, so definitely not the most ear tuckable style, but I'm gonna tuck at least this side so you can see the glasses. And you're not gonna be pushing this hair back to put your glasses on. So, you know, you can see where the glasses sit. I like to put my glasses on top of my ear tab. That's just more comfortable for me. And, but this is not a style that you're gonna be able to push your hair back. I wouldn't push my hair back with my glasses on this one. It's just too full. So glasses just go on the head. The wig, it, you know, has is full enough. It's gonna hold the glasses on your head. So let's see what we can do as far as headbands and stuff like that. I'm curious to see. I haven't played, her, this is my first styling on this one. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so I was actually thinking when I was trying the wig on, I thought, you know, I think this is a style that I would wear with a headband because it would get some of that bulk, you know, um, of the wig away from my face a little more. But you know, for you, your face may fit, you know, the style just the way it is. I'm just saying, you know, personally, and you know, you could pull down, that looks cute, pulling down a few little, you know, little that bang there. Looks really cute. And I think you could also just put a headband in the wig, you know, and just wear it like that. That would be cute too, just for something fun. That looks cute. Of course you can wear it, you know, off the face. And this is another thing I would probably do this this would eliminate some of that hair, you know, that's right at the face as well. Pull it too, don't want to pull it too tight because then the lace lifts, but the lace is not lifting on its own. Don't I, it's just the way I twisted and pulled it back and to hold it for the video. The lace is sitting just fine on my forehead. Other than that, you know, um, I guess you could, she's, she does not have the length on the sides to go half up, half down. You could clip one side back. That'd be cute. I think this other side though would be more of a challenge, you know, to try to get it to clip back and stay. Again, I would probably pull back. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't think, I think I would just leave this. I'd do one side, I think, and um, leave this side out, you know. Cause I mean, this style is meant to have that volume in it. You know, this is not, She's not meant to be, you know, tamped down and tamed down. She has this volume and this, you know, all this curl, and she's meant to have some va va boom to her, you know? That's, that is the nature of the style. So, you know, just go with it. You could put some product in there, you know? These are the heat-friendly fibers, so you could, Straighten it out some if you want to. I don't know what it would look like straightened, but I wouldn't want to have to go back in and recurl it. So I think if I was going to do anything, I might, you know, use my heat tools just if I need to change the curl anywhere, you know, make it lay like this particular curl is going towards my face. I'd rather have that go away from my face, you know, that kind of thing if you needed to fix something like that. If you do end up with a curl like that and it bugs you, you can always put that behind your ear or something too, you know, just to get it away from your face a little bit, but very interesting style. Definitely, like I said, very full, um, you know, 
full volume type style. So, so thank you to Shirley's for sending this wig to review for you all. There'll be purchase information in the description box down below, as well as a link to join that, per, that uh, private Facebook group. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye-bye. <laughs>